Right, we're at the train station now, it's about, I have less hair. Uh, about half past four. Train leaves so, at yeah. five. Train leaves at five, so we've got half an hour and then we'll get there. We we'll show you the excited. hotel. And tomorrow is coming from. So yeah, see you there. I'm about to go to the hotel. We'll see you on with that. So we've arrived in the hotel. Nice double bed, single bed. Some tea. All stuff like this. Yeah. Not gonna yeah. use it. We're at the event now, we're lining up from Kevin Conroy. We met up with Pop Pop, he's a good guy, yes. for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll let you know once we've got our Kevin Conroy Batman sign. Let's go. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the batteries that are not included. Let's get dangerous. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am a special news bulletin that interrupts your favorite show. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the wrong number that makes wakes you at 3 a.m. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the fingernail that scrapes the blackboard of your soul. <laughs> I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the low ratings that cancel your program. <laughs> I am the terror that flaps in the night. Obviously, out of my trademark of blue smoke. Um, <laughs> I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the termite that devours your floorboards. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thank you.
years later to still have this love for that series that you did back then? Well, the thing, the, the, that's the reason I love to come to Comic Con, is because um, I'm a stage actor, or originally was a stage yeah. actor. And the reason you get into acting is, you know, to tell stories, but it's also the interaction. The, the sense you get from the audience. Uh, you're fed by the audience as you're performing. You can, you can feel the crowd. And when you're acting in voiceovers, you're in a booth. You know, there is no audience. So you never have that interaction, that feedback. And the place that I get it is here at the Comic Cons. Uh, I get to hear stories of how it's affecting people's lives and uh, I get to interact with the audience. So I love coming to Comic Cons and meeting. The audience, basically. And kind of when did you realize that this show was, was you know, the original anime series was, and the people that loved your Batman as much as they did? When did you first realize? Back from MTM London Comic Con, really good day, met with Pop Pops, it was really fun, super nice guy. Did some awesome stuff together, bought some awesome pops, you know, in a big queue for something very special. Well, you would have seen all that in the in the vlog anyway. Yeah. So. Alright, so, but he no, also no. gave me, as a late birthday present, my birthday was last um, Monday. So the late birthday present he got me the the Joker eight bit Joker lanyard and the socks to go with my um eight bit Joker chain. So uh, thank oh, you nice. for those. I put um Mister Me Seeks and um Marty McFly on it. So yep. Yeah. That's it. So, so you can try I'm gonna go off. first because I'm actually the first person out of me, Matt, and Hoff to uh, buy anything. So I've already taken it out the box. So I'll show you the box. Of, uh, so I got Red Hulk, £15, and at first I thought it was good. The front of the box looks decent, there is a bit of stiff residue, but that doesn't bother me right now. As you'll, you'll be able to tell in a minute. I thought, hey, that's a pretty good deal. And then I pick it up, and uh, realise it's not such a good deal. Yeah, and then uh, massive rips, like here, and, but the, I don't really care that much. I, I obviously I'd rather it be mint, but I wasn't gonna pay forty five for a pop that's only worth twenty. Yeah. So to get it for fifteen and like I love the pop, so it's just gonna be a display and there's gonna be some really cool photos with it that I can do. So yeah. My first one was retro. Destroy your pattern. So the first one I got was at Forbidden Planet, but because I bought it, um they made this cool pin. I don't think it was because you bought it though. I mean, no, they, you they just give Ewan. Yeah. Shout out to Ewan at FPI. Yeah, he's so such good. a good guy. Yeah, there's that. The first thing I actually bought at FPI was K9 from Doctor Who. K9 is just one of the like more comedic characters. I and he's just such a cool character and the pop's great. Are you gonna take him out? Or... Uh, not in the vlog, man. Not in the vlog, man. I, I, yeah, I got into Doctor Who and I got, I think, about mm. four, five Doctor Who pops today. Um, so yeah, I got more Doctor Who than I did anything. I, I, I didn't even get a DC pop today, which is what I'm collecting the most. But I will obviously get DC tomorrow or Sunday. But yeah, this is canine. Really cool pop, I think. Probably the coolest in the set. And this is probably my favourite or it's the one that I'll show later on. So, yeah. Uh, oh, you've got. Uh, no, what you do you want to just do? Okay, well, I. Uh, yeah. yeah okay, so I did. So FPI were doing a really great deal, which was two pops for £10. And these pops ranged from commons to, to quite rare Marvel and even DC vaulted, pops. Which I didn't get even some vaulted pops which I get and tomorrow. exclusives and all that kind of stuff. So the first one I ended up picking was the 10th Doctor with the hand. So obviously Matt Smith, my favourite Doctor, my is the best Doctor and my favourite Doctor. There he is. You said Matt Smith. I did say Matt Smith. Yeah, I was talking about Matt Smith earlier. That's what I said. But yeah, David Tennant. Um, seems really cool. It's like I'm not gonna say. Do I say? No, oh, it's been out for so long. It's not really a spoiler right anymore. No, I'm just saying. So in the first what first season finale? First yeah. episode. First episode of the. Uh... David Tennant, yeah. Yeah, first episode of David Tennant. It's at Christmas, and he fights these... I can't remember what they're called. He fights these people in a sword fight, and uh, he loses his hand, then regenerates back through his hand, and then forms this little boy. So that's, like, what David Tennant is. His hair looks really weird, but I think that's just the light. So... Uh, actually, uh, I was going to take it out, but there's no point. So the second one I bought 
is the Underground Toys exclusive Green Goblin. Where he's got the uh, uh, Walgreens exclusive in the US. Where he's got the, the flaming like pumpkin jack o' lantern type thing. Really cool. Not the obviously not the um the chase, which I would have loved. But I didn't actually see the chase. We, no, we saw the yeah we did. We saw the chase. There was like thirty. Like that. No, I saw it was fifty. I'm pretty sure. So I got this. So in the two for ten deal, really great deal. Again, shout out to Ewan from FPI. Just, just a great guy. Friendly and guy, a, yeah. a really, really cool pop. Alright, so the first one I got, the first one I picked from the uh, two for ten deal was Rose Tyler. So this was, yeah, this was like my second pop of my Game of Thrones. Not Game of Thrones. Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> We're messing up our words today, but it doesn't matter. Doctor Who. Yeah, we're tired. We've been walking around the convention for a whole day. Uh, Rose Tyler. Rose Tyler is my favorite character from Doctor Who. She always will be. She's she's great. Best best companion, in my opinion. She's just awesome. I love, I love Rose Tyler. She's bad wolf. She's great. So yeah, this is her. She's got like um the Union Jack T-shirt on from um the Empty Child episode, which was on one probably my favorite Christopher Eccleston uh, episode. Some of the best quotes in that. Yeah. Everybody leaves. Especially. And the second one I got from that deal was um um Tenth Doctor with Han, David Tennant. David Tennant. Not David, David Tennant's my favourite doctor. Best doctor. And this is probably one of his coolest pop or like second coolest pop. I forget what other one he has. He has an exclusive one from Comic Con. When he's wearing the clothes. And the three D glasses one. Oh, that's really cool as well. And the spacesuit one. Yeah, uh, I love this pop. I love David Tennant. I am going to collect uh, Doctor Two quite a bit now, so you'll be seeing a lot of Doctor Two pops from me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so next, we I think was the next. We stopped off at the Funko stand where they were doing their own exclusives, and they had a really cool thing called the. Don't just show the, the pick and mix. So we'll do the MCM one. We both actually ended up picking the same. Well. You could pick more than two, obviously, but we ended up picking we the same two, two pops. pops. Uh, <laughs> one being one of the pops with the MCM sticker, and one being one from the exclusive kind of pick and mix thing they were doing. So we both got. Let me get them out of this bag. We both got Yondu and Mabel. And Mabel Corn Mabel. Mabel Corn Mabel is just really cool. I love all the Yondu colors. Yondu is great. It's one of my favorite cartoons ever. And um, so yeah, I had to get Mabel when I saw it because you can't. I swear, you can never find this pop here. In the mm, UK, no. we've been to like tons of stores around the UK, can't find it anywhere. No, but, yeah, really cool chase. The, the gra all the Gravity Falls, <laughs> <laughs> messing up my life, we are really tired. All the Gravity Falls pops are really good. They're mine has like, a little bit of damage, like up there, but it doesn't really bother me. Mine's, mine's good all the way around, but it's just it just gets me with character, just how colorful she is. Yeah, so then the next one being Yondu, the ECCC originally, it ECCC. has our, our, the new MTM sticker. Love the sticker, which really goes well with the pop, and I think it's a lot better than the ECCC sticker. This, this sticker's come become like one of my uh. Favorite just limited edition like uh, Funko stickers just out there. Mm. It's just so cool. And this pop was one of the coolest from the um, ECCC. Yeah. yeah. And this is obviously the Mary Poppins y'all scene. And y'all was probably my favorite character in the film. Uh, yeah, you guess it's me then. I'm trying to think what I got next. Oh yeah, must have been this the Magic Magic. So then. We were looking around and we decided to go to Magic Madhouse. They had some really good, kind of cheap stuff. Cool exclusives. And uh, there's a, there was a pop I've been looking at, not just at Comic Con, but like just in general for a while. And that was the, the anti gun. And this isn't the glow one because like, they don't really, it doesn't really make too much difference to me whether it's glow. But obviously, it'd be cool to have the glow one. And I want all, all three of these. So, having one of them. Is just anti venom such a cool character? And the pop's awesome. It is one of the coolest. Yeah, characters. it's one of the coolest Spider-Man Spider related pops. Generals. And yeah, just the white and the black looks so good, and then the yellow eyes just make it look so much better. Like with the yellow box art and everything about it just works. It's really nice. So that was my next one, which was anti venom from Magic Madhouse. Alright, so I've got like three formal pops. Um, I'm gonna show this one. Close, yeah. right, I'm gonna show this one now. Um, to go to the gravity falls now i made a bit of a mistake buying this because uh it was on his list but i thought there was more than one and i really wanted this one as well don't get me wrong but, no. Sorry. Uh, but i'm sure you'll find one yeah 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 you'll find one and yeah uh, it's still so i'll take out the protector to show you better yeah because you can't really see it really. 
Honestly, it's one of the coolest chasers out there in my opinion. It'd been cooler if it was more kind of like translucent, you know, instead of that kind of matte yeah. material. Yeah, there. Bill Cypher Chase, awesome chase. Yeah, really cool. Probably the best from the Gravity Falls set, I'd say. The diff one's quite good. Yeah. yeah. I just found this at the bottom of the bag. This was a little like cool piece of like Funko 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 Pop photography that the Funko stand gave me because I I got the big bag and I don't know. So what kind of I must have been this one. So the next pops I got were another. We we shopped at FPI I think the most or I did anyway. I did as well. I got. So I did another of the two for ten and these ones one of them. It was really like so lucky to get. So there's um, Blackest Night, Batman. Obviously, when he's a Black Lantern, he's all zombified or whatever. The I like obviously the blue looks good. I don't like the green box. Yeah, the green box is a bit weird. It ruin it kind of ruins it a little bit. I would have preferred either black or blue. Yeah, I think blue would have done it a lot better. But yeah, the green is just a bit weird. And all the pops on the back of there are really cool though, like the super boy and that. And this is one I've kind of like I've wanted for a while, and it's one of the cooler Batman. All the Batman ones are good though, but this is one of the better ones. So put that over there. And then the next one I got was Catwoman from I'm the. I'm gonna go back and try and get tomorrow. From the the Dark Knight Rises. This is actually a vaulted common. Um, it goes for about thirty to forty pounds here. Um, and I got managed to get it for five basically. So it's really really good. She does look a little bit odd, but it, it's still really cool. And um, yeah, Puff Pops also got one of these. He got it before I did, so. But I, I went back and I I purchased this one just because. Like, Dark Knight Rises was a good film, and it was just it was Great just film, too much of a too much of an opportunity to pass up. Right, my next one is another Dot Two Pop, and this is my favorite in the whole box. We like to set line. Yeah, Rory. Rory's just Rory one of the, the centurion. Rory the last centurion is such a cool character. Yeah. Like his character development, what development was amazing. Like his love for him was amazing. Like waiting two thousand years for mm -hmm. her. Like he's just and the pop is so cool and I was Very like, This was also at the Forbidden Planet store, so I was lucky to have it with the uh, hot topic Instead sticker. Instead of our Karib sticker. But yeah, this is Rory the Last Centurion. The box art goes really well with the pop. Mm. And the, the sticker goes really well with it as well. Yeah. So yeah, that was Rory. Uh, the, so the last pops I actually bought were I was I was at the end of my kind of money for the day, and I decided to go back to FBI once more because they they were just so so good. So I got the. Dark Knight Returns, the Batman. So this isn't when he's in his armor. This is before he fights Superman. Mm -hmm. Um, in the blue, I on the box it looks a lot dark. The blue is a lot darker than it actually is on the pop. It's 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 a bit too bright, I think, on the pop for the kind of how gritty the film is. Yeah, it's a bit too bright. I still like the pop, but I don't know. Like I prefer the armored Batman one, but. I have the armor Batman, so I thought I'd get this one to go along with it. Oh, I just dropped my other one. So I've got that one. Oh, Jesus. And the next one I got was Agent Smith from The Matrix. So I'm definitely going to try and get Neo either, well, probably Sunday to go with him. I love the box art, just the, the, like, the whole Matrix thing. And Agent Smith was a really cool character. One of the best scenes from The Matrix is in Matrix 2. I never remember the names, but when he's in the courtyard fighting loads of agents, when he's fighting Neo, that bit's really cool. And the, the pop, like, his suit is really detailed. It's, even, it's got, like, creases, and it's really good. It's quite, an, cool uh, pop. it's quite an early pop, wasn't it? I don't know how old this one is. Neither, Not sure. But it's cool. It is really cool. The only thing about it, I wish his glasses had been a little bit darker, because they are on the on the box art. But, yeah, really good. £20 pop, going for 5 so another amazing, like, deal. The next one, as you can see, is the TARDIS. As you can see, it's got a bit of damage, but you see why I won't care about that in a minute. And as you can see, this. Can't really see it very well. You can kind of see it there. There's a yeah. uh, You might not be able to read it, but it says to Matthew. Well, it doesn't say to, it just says Matthew, good luck. Uh, Sylvester McCoy, and it's got seven in Roman numerals. Now, I was hunting for this pop the whole time. Look around every store. I couldn't find it. We, sit, the, what, we sit down. Three? 
Like we sit, no, earlier than that. Oh, yeah. We sit down, have lunch, get back up, walk past the Forbidden Planet stand. I see it. I like. Matt just goes, <gasps> <gasps> run over. I'm like, can I get that TARDIS, please? I didn't even check the damage, but I don't really care because I got signed by Sylvester McCoy. And I might be getting it signed by the Fifth Doctor on uh, Wednesday. Going. I think he said he's either going tomorrow or Sunday, but he's only going for one day. So I might see if I can get him to also sign up on the side as well. So that would be awesome. Yeah. Too, yeah. And this pop's actually really cool because the door's actually open. Mm. So it's like I might, if I can, I might get another one to take take all like pop photography with it. But obviously you get first dibs because oh, you well. also want to get Sylvester McCoy signed. I um. <laughs> so I do have another pop here, but I'm gonna leave it till last. So I got this mystery bag from FPI. Uh, Doctor Who. We've got some things in here. We have an adipose. Look at this boy. An adipose were cool. He's got one tooth. And he makes really annoying noises. Yeah. Really annoying noises. But he is cool. Um, we got this Patrick Troughton. Yeah, Patrick Troughton ceramic mug. I'm actually going to open this because, like, I want to see. So, this styrofoam. It's like an unboxing. Wow! Styrofoam is difficult to It's very lodged in. And a brick off. Right, so. Boom. Patrick Trout's head. On a mug. Oh my god, what is wrong with his eyes? <laughs> He's staring into your soul right there. Right, so that was um, the ceramic mug. The, the second Doctor, Patrick Trachton. Um, like that there. I then got, uh, what else did we get in here? I got Twelfth Doctor figure, Geek Baldy. I got a Skullbox Blitzer figure. Um, I, don't, I don't really remember this too well. I remember seeing it, but I, I don't really. And then, I got an iPhone 4 case. Who uses an iPhone 4? No one. No one. Why would... What's the point in this? It's a really cool case. Like, it is really cool. Let's see what I think it. Wibbly wobbly time. See, I wish this was like... Like an iPhone 6 case. And I would have used it. But, obviously not. And then, there is something else in here. But that's... that's, that's yeah, I'm sure I think so. Yeah, that's my... That was my little mystery box chuck that behind that so these are the main things we got the thing we've been this saving. is going to be the best part of the whole trip right here this was an hour wait boom kevin connor is signed box i'll show my first all right so mine says to matthew kevin conroy i got the batman robot chase signed and on the back oh golly that fell off i have to put that back on he put um I am Batman. You can't really see that too well, but he, he was a really nice guy. Like he was a little bit late, and then when he like came out, he like jumped up onto the stair, or not onto the stair, the chair, and was like, and did his like most famous quote: "I am vengeance. I am the night Batman. I am Batman. Just Batman. <laughs> Just Batman." Uh, it was really cool, and we also went to a panel to see him, and he was really cool answering some questions. Uh, I can't, I'll throw it in the vlog, you'll, you'll have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. He's really just nice and comedic guy you can, like, yeah. talk to. Anyway, yeah. So that's mine. So mine, I got two Ollie from Kevin Conroy. Uh, Iron Batman. One side. I got the Black Chrome Batman sign, as I don't have one from the animated series. And you literally, no shops near us stock the animated series Batman. Not I have not They have the animated series Pop, just not Batman. Just, yeah, they have... Pretty much like they have Bane, they've got all the villains, they yeah. get Robin. There's no Batman. It's so annoying. Never and I would have got him. But I said with this one, it's really cool. The silver looks really good in it. You were going to get blue, but you couldn't really see it. Yeah, we were, we were just so like shocked to, to see someone we like adore. And then it was just so amazing. And afterwards, we were like, like we couldn't believe. So I wanted blue, but I think it still looks amazing in thing. And I, I think it looks like, just as good, if not. Better than yeah. a blue, honest. Alright, so that's our kind of little haul. So, we'll just, should we just show like, our two? I say little They're show our, like two favourites. Like, well, I don't, I don't think we should count these because they're like two favourite we bought. These are the two favourite that I got today. But if I, if I had to show ones I bought, it would still it'd be this 
and I'm trying to think. The Dill Cypher Chase. So these are my two favourites. Mine's probably Anti Venom and the Yondu. So those are mine. So we're okay, let's move these so we can actually see us. Um, so we'll end it there and we'll have another vlog the next tomorrow day. Tomorrow with a haul. Won't be as big a haul because we're not spending as much money tomorrow. We're saving a lot of it for Sunday. But yeah, there'll still be a haul of a video. And we'll see you then. then. Goodbye.